Hey, it's Michael at Rockatar. Welcome back to our drum lesson series. Uh, before we start this next lesson, I received a few emails from some of our students online. And the first email was from a student that had said, hey, if I'm a lefty drummer, um, then how do I know my right from my left? And um, so I just wanted to kind of clarify that real quick. If you're a lefty drummer, that means that your ride cymbal is on the left-hand side, and the bass drum is on the left-hand side, so everything kind of gets reversed, okay? So, um, so I hope you, I answered your question there. I also received an email from one of our online students who didn't know what a rudiment is, and so I wanted to talk about drum rudiments. and. Um, uh, what a drum rudiment is, is a practice technique for the drums. Uh, there are approximately 40 basic rudiments of drumming that you can build skills from. We're only working on a few because this is a very intro beginner type series. Uh, with some of our advanced lesson series on drum techniques, we'll get into lots of other rudiments. Uh, and techniques. However, if you'd like to learn more about rudiments of drumming, you can go online and do a search for the 40 rudiments, and then you could learn a little bit more about those. Okay, so I hope I answered your question, and please feel free to email uh, any questions that you may have, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Okay, Let's get on to our next lesson, lesson number five. I, I'm excited about this because now we've gotten a little more relaxed and comfortable. We know how to hold our sticks. We know how to hit the drums and the drum skins. We're learning our paradiddles. We're working on our stick bouncing and we're having a lot of fun. So the next thing that we're gonna learn is what a drum fill is. And here's what a drum fill is. I'm going to take my pad and just move it off my floor tom for right now. And you've seen drum fills. You've seen drummers do all kinds of drum fills. I'll just do um, one or two so that you could kind of see uh, what a drum fill is. So that's a simple drum fill. Here's another one. And what a drum fill is used for usually or typically you place a drum fill between a beat. So while you're playing a beat, for instance, so just to give you an idea of where to place drum fills, there's all kinds of drum fills. There's an infinite amount of drum fills that um, that you can learn and have fun with. You could even create your own drum fills, which is really what drumming and what learning music is all about. That's the fascinating thing about walking down this journey in learning how to become a great musician because it's so creative. You know, we're, we're artists and we get to create whatever we'd like to do on our instruments as we continue to learn and develop our skills. So we're going to talk about two types of fills real quick on this lesson. And the first fill, which is the simplest fill that I want to show you, I call the twos. And here's how the twos work. It's just a simple right and left hit on each drum. So let's do a two fill. We're going to start on our snare and we're going to work around our toms and we'll end on our floor tom. So here we go. And why I call that the twos is because we are hitting each drum skin two times. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now, as we start to learn those fills, we could play them faster, we could play them slower. Most important, play syncopated, which means in time, like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'll do another demonstration. And you could play along on your pad or play along with me on your drum set. Here we go. Let's do the two fill. One more time, a little bit faster.
Play along with me. Here we go, a little bit faster. Let's even get faster. So you can take those fills and build up some speed. But don't get carried away right now. Just take it nice and slow. It's much more important to play slow and in time than fast and out of time. And in order to get fast, you've got to start slow and work it. And the more you practice and put the time into working on your fills, the easier they'll become. Okay? So that's the two fill. Now I want to show you the four fill. This is probably the most widely used drum fill in drumming and certainly when you hear songs. So here's how the four fill works. And as you might imagine, like the two fill, the four fill just means hitting each drum four times. And you need to alternate your hands or your sticks. So you're going back and forth. You're not just using one stick. Right? When I did the two fill, I didn't do this. I used both my hands. Very important. Also, what's important when you do fills is to count and count evenly. So when you start, you can count out loud to keep yourself in time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? Let's do our fours now. Here we go. We're going to do four hits on every drum. And I'm going to count out loud as I play, and I'm alternating my hands right, left, right, left on each drum. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. And if you're working on a pad, just keep on hitting on your pad. You could do all of your fours right on your pad. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's work it a little faster. So that's what it sounds like once you get the speed up. But again, just want to remind you, take it slow. Take your time. You'll get these fills down. So remember, what you want to stay away from is if your fills are sounding like this, did you see those breaks between each drum, the pauses? Not good. We want to work on it together. We want to really make it syncopated. Now you could use things like that in the future, but for right now, learning drums is also about building your timing, building your tempo. So that's what we're working on also while we're learning how to play drums and building our sticking techniques. So here we go. Let's count, keep it evenly and syncopated. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Last thing I'm going to teach you on this lesson video, and this is my favorite part of doing these fills, is at the end of a fill, what do we do? We crash a cymbal. But we don't just crash a cymbal. We also hit the bass drum with the cymbal crash. So this is kind of fun. So here we go. So if you heard the cymbal crash, you also heard the bass drum because I hit the bass drum at the same time that I hit that cymbal. And that, that just gives that some oomph at the end. So here we go. Let's do it again. We'll do our fours. Love that. Here's how it goes fast. Okay? So have fun practicing that, and you could also do that with your twos. So have some fun working on your fills and working on all of your techniques and building your skills, and I will see you in our next lesson.